I'm actually going to try and FaceTime Kobe. And let's just see if he's actually alive or dead still, guys. I just want to know. Is this Kobe? <laughs> Yo, guys, what does this mean? Yo, hello? I don't even know what to say at this point. What you guys are about to see is easily the most disrespectful YouTube video I have ever seen. I mean, we've seen plenty of videos where people try and, you know, summon dead celebrities at 3 in the morning, try and call and FaceTime them, whatever. But it's just on a completely different level this time. I mean, can we just think about how this went down real quick? One of the biggest and most respected celebrities in America, actually in the world for that matter, him and his daughter pass away in a tragic helicopter accident it has the it brings the entire world to a standstill and this guy manages to find some way to use the situation to get clout i mean this guy clearly doesn't care at all he has no respect for anybody not even for himself i mean how can you sleep at night knowing you used a dead father and his daughter for clout on the internet anyway before i say any more about the situation let's go ahead and check out this video so you guys can get an idea of what i'm talking about here so you can see just how disgusting this guy is he he really doesn't deserve to be on the platform i i, I hope YouTube takes some kind of action against this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and if you are new, please let me know down in the comment section, watch through the whole entire video guys, because if you didn't already know, the one and only famous basketball player, Kobe, has unfortunately passed away and I just want to say all my thoughts and prayers go to his family and friends guys, this is honestly so sad and yeah guys, without further ado, let's just try and get this guy's number and let's try getting some sort of commu communication with him because honestly, Honestly, I don't even know what's gonna happen. I feel so bad guys, but you know what we're gonna go on the dark web guys Yes, the dark web and try and find his phone number and once we do guys I'm gonna text him and call him on my iPhone 11 right now guys now if I'm gonna be honest here I'm just kind of baffled by the intro to this video I mean apparently he's trying to show respect to the family and to Kobe and whatever But at the same time he has both his airpods in and he says hey guys I'm gonna I'm gonna call Kobe on my iPhone 11 when ten times out of ten his parents bought him that stuff in the first place and, and second of all if you're trying to show respect to a celebrity that just passed away you know it's probably not in your best interest to flex what items you have guys i have been looking for a few hours now and i think i've managed to find kobe's number if this is actually him please let me know in the comment section and i will leak his number guys if this is actually him I, this can't actually be him guys i'm actually so shook let's break down the blasphemy that just came out of his mouth this man just said let me know if this is kobe's number Me Meaning, apparently you're supposed to know Kobe personally. He's asking one of Kobe's family members to verify if this is his phone number. And then if it is, he'll leak it. So he's saying, if you know this is Kobe's phone number, implying that you already knew what it was, then he'll tell you what his phone number was. So what I'm saying here is this guy definitely has a third grade education, if that. Because I'm actually going to try and FaceTime Kobe. And let's just see if he's actually alive or dead still, guys. I just want to know because this is actually so scary. Guys, guys what should I say to him? Well, guys, I don't even know. No, you're gonna put hello is this Kobe guys I'm gonna keep it simple for now and let's just hope let's just hope um it's him like, I feel so bad if this is actually him guys let me know what you think in the comment section because this is scary guys he's actually read it I don't want it I don't want anything to do with the mainstream media anymore guys what so does that mean he's alive I've been looking for a way out way Wait, does, does, he said, please leave me alone, guys. I'm not going to leave him alone. I need more answers for you guys. At this point, my question is just, who actually believes this is real? Is, like, is there actually an audience for this? Or, or are people just watching this because they want to bully him? Like, I want to know if there's actually an audience of people that rally around this and love this content. They eat, sleep, and breathe calling dead celebrity at 3 a.m. videos. Like, a new celebrity dies and they just immediately check their sub box to watch a new 3 a.m. calling video. I, is that a real thing? Does this guy, this is, does this guy have a platform? Does this guy actually have an audience here? Anyway, let's move on to the second part of the video here where he apparently FaceTimes Kobe. And this is easily the worst part of this entire video. Believe it or not, it actually gets worse. So I'm going to call him. Hopefully he's read it. Please, guys, I'm actually praying this is going to be like he's going to answer. I'm going to call him. You know what? I'm just going to call him right off the bat. Let's just see what happens, guys. Guys, we are actually calling Kobe right now. Is he going to answer, guys? We need to find out. Oh, my God. Yo, hello? Yo, hello? Yo. Yo, is this Kobe? Help me. Yo, 
Guys, what does this mean? Yo, hello? I told you not to call. <coughs> oh my god, guys. Yo, he just ended it on me. He just actually ended it on me, guys. I'm actually so shook. Guys. Believe it or not, that is a real YouTube video we just witnessed. I mean, this guy came up with the concept, edited the video, made the thumbnail, uploaded it, and during none of those steps did he second guess how ridiculous this was. And now basically the entire internet is just blasting this kid on Twitter and YouTube. And if we're gonna be honest here, he definitely deserves it. He, this guy knew exactly what he was doing. He's trying to get money off of Kobe Bryant. So if we're gonna be honest here, he deserves every bit of hate he's getting. It, he should have seen it coming. Anyway, that's where I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel you can follow me on twitter at subdurelex and other than that i'll catch you guys in the next video i'm out